Hello everyone! My name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Two by Two Noah and the Flood Genesis Chapter 6 verse 5 to 9 and chapter 17. Let's read. The earth filled up people, but they sent so much that God was sorry he had made them. God, he decided to send a flood to wave all everyone on earth. So, Adam and Hawa had made birth the baby and like there were now there were many people. The earth was filled with people but they sent And there was a man named Noah, who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to share Noah and his family from the flood. Oh, they're looking very really peaceful and they're... You're looking very kind, right? God one warned Noah about the flood. He told them to build an animal's boat with a low roof, three desks and a window and the door and Obed this said Noah built it. So God told Noah to build the boat right and he also told him how to build it and Noah obeyed God and made the big boat Number one, a thief. Number two, a boy who is teasing a girl. And number three, Noah's family. Number three is was correct, right? Got told to collect two of every kind of animals, one male, one female. Then Noah, his family, and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. So God said to Noah that bring all kinds of animal to pierce one female and one male. You can see there are two animals, right?
It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Waters fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountain disappeared. Then Earth. Then it the flood. So it rained for 40 days and nights. The tallest mountain also didn't see. Mountain disappeared. And the flood was keep going. You can see that is the tallest mountain, I guess. Question that God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animals on the ark? No. God said two pairs of animals, two each kind of animal, one male and one female. Meanwhile, Noah and his family and all the animals were safe in the boat. Floating on the flood waters, God had not forgot Noah about Noah, not even for a moment. So Noah There were the flood and Noah God didn't forget Noah for a one moment. They're safe, right? In the boat. Because Noah has disobeyed God. God sent a rainbow. Oh, sorry. God sent a wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat rested on mountain. Oh, I tell you what. Alright. Noah sent out a dove when it didn't return he knew it was safe so like Noah think that now it will be many dry so Noah has sent a dove and dove didn't return and that Noah knew it was safe. <coughs> you can see no water cells. When the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flip the whole world again. So the ground was dry, so they have all come out to the from the boat. I think if I am Noah's family, I will like if, after this situation I will like like the land <laughs> and also God gave the <laughs> gift it was a rainbow right you can see the rainbow these days also that was the promise what God was promised that then he will never flood the whole world again. Question. God put the rainbow in the sky for a, a promise that he would never flood the whole of earth again. True. Yes, today I read the Bible. Sorry to enjoy. And next time I will read another story also. Then bye.